Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And some interesting news, Springbok fans, the squad um, that Wales will be using to pick a 23 for their clash against the Springboks has officially been announced by Warren Gatland um, just under a, almost about, almost just a, um, under three weeks to the day that we will be taking on uh, the Wales at Twickenham. And uh, it's an interesting squad that Wales have named. They have left out three key players um, who... In particular, I think we're very good against South Africa a couple of years ago when they uh, when, when Wales actually travelled out um, to, to take on South Africa. So I think they'll definitely miss them. Uh, but it's going to be a slightly weakened box side, uh, even a slightly weakened Welsh side as well, with all players um, that play their um, rugby in uh, the likes of France or England um, not available for this clash because it does fall officially outside the test window. Um, so before we get into the squad, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, so there are a couple of uh, players who um, uh, who have been given a rest, well three of them actually, and that is uh, Josh Adam, Ryan Lights, and Will Rodens, who were apparently missed the entire summer and have not been selected. Um, big players, you know, Will Rodens, especially in that that first test, things at Loftus when um, we played against Wales, had a, an enormous game, a, a really really big game, and uh, really for me announced himself on the test stage as as a top uh, a potential world class lock. Uh, we all know that Josh Adams has, uh, you know, try scoring uh, over that all round wing player. To be fair, as one of the top um, wings in the world when he, on his day, and uh, Ryan Lys is, is also, you know, a player who I thought has played very well when they came to South Africa. So, so it's a pretty big miss there as well. Now, the big news for them is that there are a couple of players who are back from injury in the form of Ben Carter, Dewey Lake, Jack Morgan, super captain Jack Morgan. Be very interested to see if he does get named captain. Uh, Tame Plumtree as well as Christ uh, Chunza. Who all return? Um, I mean, they missed the, um, the 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 Six Nations, and there are also a four capped uncapped players in the form of uh, Ellis Bevan, scrum off, uh, Jacob Beetham is a fullback, and and wings uh, Josh Hathaway plays for Gloucester, as well as Keelan Giles for Ospreys, who's been very good during the URC, an exciting player actually, is Keelan Giles. So good to see him getting uh, the backing. Uh, Warren Gatlin said the following about the squad before we look at it. He said uh, we have selected a bigger squad because we don't have the English club base players available for the South African match. So we will be reducing the squad from 36 to 34 players for Australia. Because I think everyone appreciates and realizes we're building towards 2027. There were moments during the Six Nations where we played some really good rugby and put the opposition under some pressure, but we probably weren't accurate enough. It's about playing for longer periods, putting a half together and putting an 80 minute performance together, which ultimately gives you confidence and gives you that opportunity to win games. We need to build on that. We need to keep on working hard We've got some experience to come back into the squad and some exciting players, which is good. The big focus for us is about our game management and to get better with that. But we also want to improve our collision dominance, whether that's attack or defense, and create some more depth and competition within the squad. Uh, in terms of the captaincy, he says, we will look at the leadership group um, that is going to be important for us going forward. We'll probably name a captain for South Africa and then name a captain for the tour. Right, let's have a look at the squad, shall we? Uh, these are the players. Uh, who have been selected now uh, as i mentioned the the, uh, the english based players in theory not available for that to test against the swing box so you will see a couple of players uh, on this list over here who will not play but if you go through that um some good players yeah so we go, if we, let's just go through it so, uh, Corey Narchowski, Kimsey Batai, Gareth Thomas, Elia D, Dewey Lake who's a bit of a sort of a, a, a juggernaut type player uh, Evan Lloyd, Sam Perry, Kieran Azarati, Archie Griffin, Dylan Lewis, Henry Thomas, Ben Carter, uh, Corey Hill, Daft Jenkins, who captained the little, um, Wales throughout that, uh, the, the Six Nations. Important player, uh, Daft Jenkins, because, yeah, I think he's he's one of those players who, very much for the future, and I think they've got some very good locks in the likes of, you know, Will Rodens, Daft Jenkins, uh, Crushins are coming through, interested to see where he settles. Uh, for example, obviously Josh Adams. Um, so it's 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 a good good to see him and continue his development. You think of Matthew Squeeze, Christians, and Mackenzie Martin, Jack Morgan. What a player! I think he will be the captain of that game um, and the captain for for the Australia tour. I, I see him being the Welsh captain. I don't really see who else they're going to go to. Daft Jenkins put a good stint. Um, I think you will pick a forward as captain. Will Will Warren Gatton? I don't see why you'd go anywhere further than a Daft. Um, sorry, than Jack Morgan. Uh, Tim Plumtree, exciting player, um, the, the son of John Plumtree, exciting player. There, Tommy Rafael, Tommy Turnover, who wrecked South Africa in that tour, where really he sort of also announced himself. And then Aaron Wainwright, Mister Consistency in the number eight jersey. Uh, the backs are Ellis Bevan, Gareth Davies, Kieran Hardy. So nice experience there. Um, and then quite a few not, uh, youngsters in and around the squad. Sam Costello will continue his sort of rise in international ranks. Uh, ranks. Mason Grady, talented player. Ben Thomas, Nick Tompkins, Owen Watkin, Rio Dyer, Keelan Giles, Josh Hathaway, Liam Williams is selected, Jacob Beetham, and Cameron Winnett, who I thought was fantastic in the Six Nations. Really enjoyed watching him. 
Um, it's a well squad, you know, that I think should be beaten by the likes of the Springboks. I think it'll be competitive against Australia. It'll be very interested to see how they go. Um, they obviously hammered Australia at the World Cup last year. I was lucky enough to be there. But, um, yeah, I'll be interested to see how Australia respond to that. And, uh, you know, Wales as well, going now back to sort of more of a building phase as opposed to just being competitive, might be, not be at the level they were at the World Cup. So an interesting tour to come from Wales. Let me know what you think about the squad. Which 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 names at Springbok fans do you look at that and, and you worry about them, for example? Are there any? Um, for me, I'm just heartbroken to see a Welsh squad without the likes of a Lee Halfpenny. Uh, which which really makes me quite upset. No damn bigger as well. You know, a couple of big players that uh, we're used to seeing, Jam, Justin Tipperick, you know, Adam and Jones, you know, those sort of the legends that were playing against South Africa when they came down here. So not quite uh, the same sort of uh, maybe pedigree, uh, you know, as what we're used to because there are a lot of young players in there, but some some very exciting players as well. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.